I don't know what I think. Well, you were talking about having hope back in your life, and it kind of sounded like... Look, I just found out that she was alive. That's all I can deal with right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to pressure you about who's going to keep her. Especially when you don't even know where she is. You know, all those feelings about wanting to keep the baby are, are still there, but there's nothing I can do about it. Does Star know that you still want to keep the baby? I'm sorry. I want to talk to you about this because I haven't been able to stop thinking about what it's going to feel like to hold hope in my arms. Well, does Marcy know that she's alive? Because Dorian was sounding like she doesn't think you have to give hope away if you don't want to. But I practically begged the woman to raise my baby. I made a promise to her, Langston, and I can't go back on that. Marcy was there today when they told us the Hope was alive. Man, she was so happy. And Star wasn't saying anything that would keep her from feeling that way. And so if she changed her mind, if she wants to keep the baby, she hasn't told me. But the, the two of you have been through so much together to trying to find out what really happened to your baby. I mean, you gotta have at least a sense of how she feels about the baby now. When I was pregnant, I was sure I was ready to give my baby to Marcy. I was at peace with my decision. But now, I'm not so peaceful. You know, after Paul and Cole and I, we thought about what Hope would be like at her prom. We actually went to her grave and we dreamt about what she would be like. But if she were alive, what our lives would be like if we had raised her together. Oh, Star. Now she is alive, and it's, it's the dream come true that we've been waiting for. You guys deserve it. I mean, you've been through so much. I know. And a part of me, a part of me just wants to burst out with happiness, but then another part of me thinks that I'm not going to be able to handle it. Handle what? Holding hope for the first time, knowing that she's my baby, and then having to hand her to Marcy. But, sorry, I mean, but like I said, I made my decision. And I have to stand by that. But it's going to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. You know, I, Cole and I, through this whole thing, we've gotten a lot stronger than we were before. But the whole reason we broke up, the whole reason why he freaked out and got on drugs and did everything that he did was because of my decision to give away the baby. The star would never go back on her promise to Marcy. And I would never ask her to. You know, I made my peace with it before. Yeah, but can you do it again? Can you go along with Star's decision again? I have to. I signed away my rights. Yeah. But there's one thing that I'm sure about now. And that's that I want Star in my life. With or without the baby? Yeah. All right, hold on to that. Hold on to that, and you'll be all right. Are you and Cole working on things? We're getting closer, but it makes me nervous. Why? You guys belong together. What's gonna happen when the baby comes back and Michael and Marcy take her home? We're gonna get ripped apart all over again and I don't think we can handle it. I think you're gonna need each other more than ever. It's Marco. Prom! Langston, after prom! I'm so sorry, I never asked you what happened. Please. Tell me everything. Well, not everything. Okay, yeah. Actually, I want you to tell me everything. <laughs> well, it was amazing. It was amazing and perfect, yes. and Aunt Dorian did not mess anything up? Well, no. Aunt Dorian didn't, um, but... What do you mean? Like, so what happened? Man, I, I thought my situation was crazy. Lola killed her own mom? Man, is that chick totally nuts or what? Yeah, it looks like... I mean, I'm just thanking my lucky stars that her crazy plan for me and Langston didn't work out. Are you thinking about the baby again? 
Yeah, I'm starting to feel bad for running out on Star. And do something about it. Lola poked holes in your condom. Why? Well, she couldn't have Marco, so she wanted to ruin my life. Oh, my gosh. Well, she could kill her mom. I'm just really glad that she didn't hurt you. You know. Look, just call Cole, okay? You know you want to. If he wanted to be here, he would. You feel like seeing anyone? No, but if it's Aunt Dorian or my mom, they're not gonna give up. Come in! Hey, what are you doing here? I snuck in through the kitchen to avoid Dr. Lord, and, um, I brought someone. 